Hey everyone, let's get caught up with Villain Saga with episode 12 before the latest episode releases. Things have been getting a little bit troublesome with Knut, and I don't know where his dominion over Denmark is going to take over, but we know it's going to go to Kettle's farm, and we also have Leif trying to find Thorfinn, so let's see what happens in this episode. That's him. Yep. He's gonna be the laughing stock of the entire guard. What is happening here? Who's that supposed to be? Okay. That can't be a good character. Can't believe he's still there. Pitting his existence. He's checked out. Completely. Imagine pretending that you care about doing this officially. You know, you're just mocking him. Can you just get on with it? Like, he gets the message. <laughs> now you're just being jerks. I mean, Omar's a jerk, but he doesn't deserve this. This dude, he's pissed. If he slashes the king's guard, that would be bad. Omar is gonna get himself killed. That's sad. Is he really? He really is gonna fight them. That can't be good. You're gonna have to go help your brother out. Wow, by killing him? Jeez. I just don't know who got involved here to deliver the wrong message. Is this guy trying to interfere to make him look a little bit like a hero? Validate his existence in the King's Guard? Hey! His brother, Thorgil, right? <laughs> I can't imagine Omar being po capable of doing that. He's like picking up, like a mom picks up her cub. That's rough. You're supposed to help your brother out. <sighs> Getting the training that he needs, I guess. Yeah, that's a pretty violent image. Omar's gonna die. Oh crap. Yeah, see, this guy is interfering. But no one caught the coin. Yeah, I think Thorgil suspects something. He may have expected his brother to die rather than live. Yeah, that's gonna traumatize him. I feel like he's a lot like his dad. He doesn't really like violence. You're not gonna interview with Thorgil, are you? He's gonna take him out one strike, yeah. Cleaves, oh my god. His father's gonna hate this. Dude, look at the weight of his stomp. Oh, wow. Oh, they're pretty bad for Kingsguard. Just stayed on the farm with your dad. You didn't have to go into this life. He's speechless. He has no idea the processes. Yeah, this took a really dark turn today. Who knew they were just practice for him? They're all in on this? Which king? Harold or Canute? Is he just gonna kill more people? He's not gonna do that. My god, Thorgil. You're really gonna challenge him after everything you've seen? He's insanely strong. I don't think we've seen anything this violent this entire season. 
Really? You dare. That's your sword hand, now what? <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. Just keeps getting worse and worse for him. You know this. Dude, I like that you're testing his patience after he said he... God, an eye and a hand? How much more do you want to lose? It's the requisition of the farm. It's all a setup. <laughs> so I misunderstood this entire time. Olmar was not to be put part of the guard, he was to be used. The Danes are gonna fight back? Did they mess up? Is he like defecting from the king's guard? Yeah, and people witnessed that, by the way. Did they not anticipate the Orgel? God, the war is coming. Just take the farm. War is coming! Halfway through the season. Episode 12. That's when everything begins. It took us this long to get here. It took us Thorfinn finding his peace and almost tasting freedom for this to happen again. All because of Knut, the last person I think he ex expected to become his enemy. Go away, Swen. So messed up. I wonder where uh, Leif is now. Maybe he's helping out. Yep. This works out for them. That's how they got away and escaped. He wants something in kind. Yep. What's gonna happen with Einar? Did he die? Oh, he's too upset. This is not the life he wants. It's sad because Olmar and Thorgil are not the kind of kids he wants at all. He just wants peace on this farm. And they just end up being very typical Norsemen, or at least Olmar was ambitious to become one. He screwed everything up. That was a good episode. How everyone in the system works, whether they want to be a part of it or they don't. They kind of get screwed over regardless. Let's get a. Is, is it happening? Are they going to be reunited now? Or is that next episode? I think he feels something coming. Change of winds, perhaps? Last character, I expected to go like that. Last character, just like how he flipped from like the cute little Canute that we met in the first season that was constantly mocked for being a pretty boy to this. And now he's gonna throw everything in disarray. But it's what we anticipated, right? Thank you for joining me for another episode. I can't wait to see what happens in episode 13 and hope to see you for that one as well. Bye bye.